The Longest Ride is the newest Nicholas Sparks book turned movie and this stars Scott Eastwood, Britt Robertson, Alan Alda and it's about this young bull rider played by Scott Eastwood who looks so much like his father, just gotta say that. And he's a very successful bull rider and he happens to meet a art girl who has plans to live in the city and they both come from different worlds, the typical Nicholas Sparks movies and they form this relationship and she befriends an older man after an automobile accident and they save his life and he tells her about his past relationship with his wife and the struggles and the happiness he has had with the relationship. This movie is way too long. It is over two hours long. Going into a Nicholas Sparks movie, it has the same structure. Two people who are different, but yet they fall in love and there is an issue or a struggle that arises that tests their relationship. Going into this movie, I was expecting all that same stuff and it pretty much is. And it being the same structure, it relies on the actors and the direction of the movie to make it stand out from everything else. I gotta say, I found some enjoyment in The Longest Ride. It is a very tolerable uh, Nicholas Sparks movie and I thought that Scott Eastwood and Britt Robertson and even Alan Alda, all three of them were very fantastic in their roles for a Nicholas Sparks movie. They added a lot of emotion to the scenes. Um, there were a lot of emotional scenes in general and I started to get worked up a little bit because it was kind of sad but there was this real depth and emotion to the characters that felt real. It didn't really feel cheesy at times. I guess the lines maybe felt cheesy and the structure felt a little bit cheesy. The actors didn't feel cheesy. They didn't give over the top performances. It just felt natural. The movie has two different storylines to it. We have Scott Eastwood and Britt Robertson and them falling in love and then these flashbacks of this older man and his wife when they were younger set in the 40s. The flashbacks did add a lot to the time run of the movie and I still enjoyed it a little bit but there were parts where I thought they could have cut it out. It was shot really nicely. I think the costume design for the flashbacks worked really well for the timeline that it was but there were a few scenes I just didn't really feel like it was necessary and they were just there to you know bring emotion to the movie. I kind of wanted to focus more on Scott Eastwood and Britt Robertson. So The Longest Ride does have the same structure of two people who really come from different worlds and there's a struggle and it tests the relationship. Nothing new here in this movie but I enjoyed it. I felt uh, this movie was tolerable and it had some decent acting, it was shot well, it was a nice looking film. It is significantly better than some previous Nicholas Sparks movies, so I'll give it for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a C plus. This is Justin Watts Movies with his review of The Longest Ride, which stars Scott Eastwood and Britt Robertson and Alan Alda. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.